Hi there, my name is Nick Zeke Lopez, and in the next four minutes, I'm going to walk through Message Your Segment, a visual segmentation and activation tool that sits directly on top of your live data. Today, I will demonstrate how I, as a marketer, would segment an audience based on their attributes and then activate that audience on different platforms. As we go into the Message Years application, I'm now in a blueprint where I can see that I have a starting population of about 64,000 recipients. These are the current number of people in my audience that I want to target and activate. In my data today, I have a set of recipients, some basic information about them, like their name and email, and additional information I'll use to segment my audience, like what their interests are, if they've ever made a purchase, and how likely we believe they are to make a purchase soon. Now, as a first step, I'm going to simply segment my audience based on whether or not they have ever made a purchase from my brand. All I need to do is click target, fill out my segment information here, and create my segmentation criteria. In this case, it's if our first purchase made column is one and not zero. Next, I click count here at the top of the screen and message gears will return the number of people that have met my segmentation criteria, which in this case is about 32,000. Well, I have an equal amount here in my everything else segment, which is everyone who has not met our criteria. That was a pretty simple first segment, but I could do much more inside of my blueprint. For example, let's say I wanted to create different tiers of audiences based on how likely my in-house data science team believes they are to purchase from me in the next week. I would simply segment further based on the likelihood to purchase column. And in this case, I'll make multiple segments based on the values in that column. Let's say our high likelihood segment to be anything above 90% likely to buy, medium above 50%, and low being everything else. If I save and count again, segment will give me the live updated count for each segment within my segment group here, creating mutually exclusive groups, giving me an even more granular look at my audience. But segmenting isn't the only thing I can do in a blueprint. Let's imagine I don't want to activate anyone who is very likely to purchase since I believe it might be a waste of marketing spend. I can filter my segments down to applicable segments using our filter operation and give our new segment a name. Let's pick marketable audience. You can see here that I've narrowed our audience down to just those segments. So I've used a combination of recipient attributes to segment down to my target audience. But what about these everything else nodes? In this example, these are people that have either never purchased or are not likely to purchase from us in the near future. Let's go ahead and rename this segment Never Purchased and create randomly split segments in these groups to try out some new creative and create a multivariate test. I will split into three groups, 80% in one and 10% in the others, and give them simple names like A, B, and C. Clicking count again shows me how many random recipients will fall into each segment. Finally, let's say I want to create additional data attributes that don't exist in my database today that I can use in personalization through any channel. I can simply create and apply labels at any step of the process. For instance, here I will create a label called offer at the top and apply our low likelihood purchase audience a 10% off coupon to incentivize them to buy. If I take another look at my data by previewing my blueprint at the top of the screen, I can now see that a new column has been added to my outgoing data that will reflect what I, as a marketer, can use in personalization and then send it to third parties. Okay, so I've now defined my audience, but how do I activate them? Navigating to our external campaign section of the app lets me create a new campaign and select the blueprint I just created and filter down to the segments I want to export. In this case, let's set our marketable audience to Facebook so we can create a Facebook ad campaign. Message Gear's segment exports to many third parties, including Google Customer Match, a Facebook Custom Audience, and integrates with the Message Gear's ESP functionality, as well as any ESP you may have today. In addition to a one-time campaign, I can schedule exports to ensure that my audiences are being updated over time and are taking advantage of my live customer data. Now, there is so much more functionality in Message Gear segment that I didn't get a chance to touch on in this video. So we've posted a link to a full demo in the description below. Feel free to check that video out, or and if you have any questions or interest, hit us up at messagers.com. Thanks.